Hi guys, and welcome to my channel. This is going to be the first in a series of tarot readings I'll be doing on myself. If you want me to do one for you privately or publicly on this channel, hit me up. I accept PayPal. Um, but basically, this is just going to be me doing what I love to uh, just improve my skills and share my knowledge and experiences. <sighs> This may even help you along your path, as the archetypes rep represented in these cards are universal and apply to almost anyone. So you can, oh shit, where the f*** do I have to go? I think I got them all. So, the archetypes represented in these cards are universal and they apply to almost anyone. Um, so you may find a different way to look at your situation. And what you're going through all right so let's start this off um so i'm just going to be doing a basic spread with the writer weight deck it's official and all that so uh let's look this one is going to in this spread this is going to represent the past this is going to represent the present this is going to represent the future what i need to work on over here and the outcome of all of this so very basic spread but that's just about what it's all going to represent fuck man these cards are so sicky anyway so first off uh, we have the magician very good card over there this card is about manifestation meaning i'm in the, the process of manifesting or controlling my situation but what that situation is depends on the total meaning of the rest of the cards. So, uh, since the placement, basically, basically this placement deals with the past. So, it could be that all my work that I've put in, my spell work, um, is actually beginning to pay off. Uh, that's why it's manifesting, alright? So, meaning I'm probably going to attain a new job with less stress and more abundance. And all of that's going to pay off because I put in the work. I don't know. Um, because this is only the first card in the series. So, so you can't base the whole entire reading just off of this. So what we have over here. Nice. So see, it deals with pentacles. Pentacles, coins, right? Coins, money. This is basically about a job. The reading is about a job. So, again, that ties in very nicely. Um, and also, you notice that this is kind of like a tree, a money tree. And uh, this guy, he obviously planted that money tree. So, it's about reaping what you sow. All right. Um, but uh, if you look closely at his face, I'm not sure you can see. I'll try and zoom in on post so you can see or put up a bigger picture. I don't know. Uh, so you can see on his face, basically, he's not happy with what he reaped. So that's basically a money tree. He's not happy with the results. Even though it looks very good, it's big. Maybe it's not big enough. Maybe it's taking slower to manifest the results of what he uh, actually put in but this is about the present right so presently he's not happy again that feel I feel that uh, closely hits home to what I'm going through right now right uh, maybe his hard work didn't pay off maybe he's working a bit too hard I don't know that's just what I've oh I, well I'm relating to that you know um, Maybe I need to relax a bit more because I'm working too hard. So that is what this card represents. Um, yeah, so basically I need some time off. And uh, recently, my mom, we don't talk a lot, but recently my mom uh, actually sent me a message. No, it was actually a phone call. And she just, out of the blue, she's like, oh, I need to be appreciative of what I have, you know. Uh, because I have a lot. I've came, come a long way. I've got my own house now. I'm more independent. Um, I'm making um, a decent amount of money, living comfortably. So, yeah, I need to be appreciative of what I have, you know, because a lot of times I'm not. So this card is about being patient, being appreciative of what you have, being grateful, gratefulness. I'm starting these gratefulness prayers when I woke up, wake up in the mornings. Gratefulness prayers, because you got to be grateful for what you have. All right. 
So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, she, she, basically my mom is like, yo, you're always being so hard on yourself. Just relax. Take some time off. And basically that's what this card is about as well. It's about being grateful and, you know, your family, uh, being focused, he's more focused on this as opposed to actually other more important things, you know? Gotta love these cards, man. If you want me to get you a deck, hit me up. I can organize that. But this card is basically about being uh, grateful for what you have right now. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Obvious one. Obvious. Really obvious. Nail on the head. Guy laying over there. Stabbed in the back. Backstabbing. That's what this card represents um, in the workplace. It's kind of obvious what's going on over here. So, yeah. You can see even the dark clouds over there. Sunset. But uh, it's like the dark clouds are coming in over. So, dark times ahead. Also, this deals with the future. Remember, past, present, future. So, dark clouds in the future. And stabbed in the back. So this card deals with deception and secrecy, right? And swords represent thoughts and actions. So, yeah, seeing as this is in the future, obviously I need to watch out. Be careful, right? This is a warning. Um, and seeing as this is about work, we can look through this through the lens of deception in the workplace. Now, um, what can I say? So... Uh, yeah, uh, I, we have a really doggy, dark, doggy, dog <laughs> type of workplace, and basically, um, I work in customer service, and went, recently I went through uh, several weeks of bad performance. When I actually started looking at what, what, what was wrong, what I was doing wrong, it was not because I was doing the wrong things, I was actually following policy. But I was more to the point with the customers. I wasn't giving them what they were looking for. And a lot of these American customers, they're fucking, um, they're entitled. So if you don't give it to them exactly how they want it, they're going to rate you badly. So that's basically what, it, what was happening. I was doing everything according to policy, but that's not what they wanted. They wanted special treatment. So, yeah. And a, a lot of these agents basically... Uh, the other guys, the customers obviously calling back because uh, somebody told them something which was completely a lie. And uh, yeah, me being a supervisor, I actually have to deal with these customers and all the lies that they've been told. So I'm like the guy telling them the truth, you know. Oh, sorry, ma'am. You know what this guy told you? That was complete nonsense. That's not possible. And then they're like, oh, my God, who do I believe? Do I believe you who's telling me this, this terrible news? Or do I believe the other guy who told me something really nice, exactly what I wanted to hear? So then uh, I'm a supervisor. Now I got to deal with this. I got to win back that trust for our company because, you know. That's just part of life. So anyway, I'll tell the people all this. And then they're like, boom, you suck. Give me a bad rating. My performance goes down. And yeah, that's basically it. So this deals with deception, backstabbing. The So I think that's how it applies in my case, at least. You know? Um, yeah, let's move on to the next one. Ooh, more swords. And also a seven, you'll notice sevens. Oh, can I get that in nicely? Um, but you can see this guy's sneaking away from a camp, most likely. Um, but yeah, he's sneaking away with some swords over there, but he's leaving a couple behind. So again, swords represent thoughts and actions. Uh, maybe it's implying getting away with, uh, away with deception uh, especially how it ties into the story I just told over here uh, but that's actually my plan going forward with uh, with the job to quote unquote improve my performance I'm just going to be telling people a bit of what they want to hear and 
but framing things in a way that they want to agree more with what I'm saying. So they can give me a better survey at the end of the day. So my uh, performance can improve because like, uh, bruh, see these dark clouds of ear that uh, makes me think of the stress. And, you know, I was going through like, am I going to be fired? What the hell is going to be happening? Thanks to these people not wanting to accept the truth. All right, so let's get back to this card over here. This guy's basically getting away with uh, with the deception, sneaking away. So notice how he has five, right? You remember I brought that up, and he's leaving two behind. Um, this basically um, refers to like how one lie leads to another lie and you need another lie to cover up that line and so forth you're caught in the cycle of lies and deception you know um but also i like how this is like usually when something's stolen from you if someone is really really um you know sneaky about it like this guy is really sneaky about it you don't realize until later you're like oh my god my shit is gone you know so this is basically that this is basically that uh like a thief in the night you don't realize uh so so you don't realize something's happened so you gotta keep your if you don't keep your wits about you sleeping with one eye open something can come out of the blue shake up your world like a relationship suddenly ending or a job or contract being broken like out of the blue so yeah this man in the picture doesn't necessarily have to be me or you you could be the victim or of all of this you could be in the tent being the victim or you could be the aggressor which i'm hoping to be in the next couple of weeks to just boost my stats all right so uh yeah let's move on to the last one sorry for that um this placement is all about what I need to be working on. All right. So again, this is with work to do with work. Obviously, um, more pinnacles, more coins, more money. If you can't see that nicely, I'll try and zoom in, give a nice picture. King of pinnacles. So basically, again, with work, this has to do with. And uh, yeah. So basically, the placement of this card means where i'm where all of this is going to end right uh where it will lead if you don't take heed of all the other lessons that's been shared over here so yeah and also very nicely if you didn't know just a quick quick tip for the guys that didn't know pentacles also represent coins because coins like money you know so money tree over here coins it represents earth earthy possessions things of that nature but interestingly enough this is inverted because the king of pentacles represents abundance wealth security and being it inverted all of that is inverted so basically i need to look at my relationship with money that's what this card is saying maybe i'm I'm over prioritizing money and work over my relationships, not taking care of my health and my well-being, uh, stressed out of work because of this. Um, or maybe it can represent also the dark side of being quote unquote professional at all times because uh, I'm thinking more of how we expect people of a certain class, uh, a certain class to live up to a standard of being professional or stately, you know, kings and queens, they always have to put on this mask, they have to address people a certain way, and a lot of times that is not, that's not who you really are, like a, like a politician, you know, they tell you what they want to hear, but they're not being true to themselves, they're not saying what they actually believe, that's why I like Trump, he says what he wants, he does what he wants, he practices his, uh, his rights, you know, he just says what he wants. People like that, people are gravitating more to that, because like cancel culture, you can't watch, uh, just say what you want anymore, but Trump, he's bringing all that back, I love that guy. Anyway, so yeah, 
uh, basically again this ties in with um, with this one how I need to let my hair down you see how nicely all these cards tie in together this one is about uh, being unhappy with the results in the present you know past present future so in the present not happy relax this one is again just bringing across that message you need to uh, relax chill out a bit more and uh yeah look at your relationship with money so that is it and uh basically subscribe if you want more like this if you want me to do one for you let me know drop a comment have a good one stay safe guys Ugh.